finally here, everybody. My long-awaited, very much requested video on how I make my ugly thumbnails. <laughs> so yeah, we're here. So basically, first what you're gonna do is you're gonna log into your MSP account. I typed in my password wrong because I'm stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> so basically, I'm gonna log into your MSP account. I'm gonna do it on It's Raylan too, so. Did I, wait. <laughs> I'm literally stupid. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm gonna do It's Really and Ujira. So yeah, you log into your MSP account. Um, typically when I make a new video, I make a new outfit. So I'm gonna make a new outfit real quick. Brand new, gorgeous, skinny, iconic, legendary outfit for Ujira right here, everybody. You guys seen it here first. I have no idea what I'm gonna name it, but you know what? Oh, I have to change this. Okay, so we're gonna go to It's Really and we're gonna make an outfit. Wow, what a surprise, everybody. Thank you guys so much for level 55. I literally was not expecting this. I didn't even know I was gonna level up because you guys know I have not been online. So yeah, thank you guys so much for level 55. Ooh, gorgeous. Oh, I like the eye. Okay, gorgeous. Anyways, so yeah, thanks for level 55. Thanks for the first page, whatever, whatever. We're gonna go make our outfit now. Actually, you know what? I have so many freaking looks. I'll just, I'll just grab a look from one I already made and I haven't used. So you know what? BRB. So when you have the look that you want or the look that you make, you go to art books and now you're gonna click new art book. Okay, so you're gonna do a new art book. Um, and now you're gonna add your avatar. If this ever loads, because it usually takes a freaking while for me. If there's a lot of people online, because if there's not, then I, I'm like glad. Or I, I, or I could just like turn to Isha Cool and like call everybody out. Like, anyways. Um, yeah. So um, as you guys can see, you could do it with the white backgrounds, but when you have certain colors, like if you're wearing white, I wouldn't recommend just doing a white background. So yeah, you should regularly, like if you have, depending on the colors of your outfit, you should get a background. So I'm gonna do um, this dark gray, cause yeah, I think it'll be good. So I'm gonna do this dark gray, and yeah, make your avatar, it doesn't really matter what size, to be honest, because you can always make it bigger in the website that I'm gonna use. And you're just gonna do an animation. So this is the animation I'm gonna do. Do you just take a screenshot of it? Usually I wait until the eyes are like looking at the screen. So you take a screenshot of it. Now I'm gonna go to Ujira and do the same exact thing. So you go to art books. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the greet, Sarah09 Cool. Thank you so much. You guys are so freaking kind to me. Like, oh my god. All right. Um yeah, I'll have a light gray background. I could do white, but I'm scared because these the holes on the um the holes on the jeans have white and it's kind of like at the border. So yeah, we're gonna do just, I'm just gonna do like a light gray for the background. Thank you again, Sarah, for the greet. Sarah, you better knock it off because I'm kind of recording. Let me stop. <laughs> so when everything is lined up, you take a screenshot. Oh, uh, wait, we're gonna wait for you, Jira, to look at the, look at us because she's freaking stupid, all right? <laughs> all right, so now that you have your freaking, um, you have your avatars, now you're gonna go to the background shop. You don't have, you can use like any background, but I usually just go to the background shop. So yeah, um, let's see with a nice background, with a nice aesthetic that'll match my outfits. So we're just gonna look around, you know, just bruise around. <laughs> Bruise. What is it called? Browse. We're just gonna browse around until we find one that we like. I think I'm gonna do this one. I was debating between um, this one and um, the festival one, but I think I did the festival one before. It was this one right here. So, actually, hmm, I'm gonna do this one. All right, so you're just gonna take a screenshot of it. You don't need to buy it. This is like the easier way. <laughs> so like, it's kind of like a scam or like a cheat, but it's really not, cause it's like, yeah. <laughs> um, now you're gonna go to a website called Pixel R. I think that's how you pronounce it. If it's not, don't drag me, I don't really care. This is the website right here, pixelr.com. So you just click this and then it's gonna bring you to the client. Okay, so you're gonna click um, create new image and then the dimensions is the width is 1280 and the height is 720. You're gonna click OK. You should like zoom out so you can see it properly. All this white is what is practically your thumbnail. So you're gonna go to um, layer, open image as layer, and then you're gonna get your background. If my computer does like, like hurries up. <laughs> if not, then you know, just gonna commit. Um, now you're gonna go to um, edit, free transform. 
And it's basically, you can move the image, basically. Oh, I need to sign out of MSP because it lags. If you're on MSP while on pixel art, it, it'll lag. So hold on. All right, so yeah, you just take the image and you like resize it to anywhere you want. Um, This looks good enough, I guess. <laughs> hold on, okay, yeah, this looks good enough. Are you, like cover the whole, like cover all the white. And then you're gonna go to um, filter Gaussian blur. And that like blurs the image as you can see. If you can't see, then you know what? <laughs> Don't care, let me stop. Okay, so um, yeah, just choose any amount that you want. And then you're gonna go to, um, you're gonna click this. It's a box and you're gonna go to layer, new layer. And the, the border size, I usually do like 40 or 45, but how to make thumbnails is a long title. So I'm just gonna do 40. You're gonna unclick fill shape. And then you basically just start anywhere because you could, you could do free transform again on this to like resize it. So yeah, you're just basically gonna start anywhere. I'm gonna do it like this big. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, you can move it around, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna move it like right here. And then now you're gonna um go to this this layers right here. How do I make this? Okay, yeah, you can make it bigger this way. Then you're gonna right click the layer and you're gonna go to layer styles. And then inner glow, and this is where you could choose the color. Like you could do um, red. You're gonna do like all the way up on here, all the way up here. Like you could choose the color basically. But I usually do white, so I'm gonna do white. And then I do um drop shadow, and the distance moves the shadow like where you want it. And then op opacity, like lighter or darker. And then I usually do like a. Li oh wait, hold on. <laughs> so yeah, you could choose the size. The size basically is like. It like makes it more like a realistic looking shadow, but I only do like a little bit of it. So don't drag me, but <laughs> I changed the background because I think I used this layer. I um I think I used that background before in one of my videos, so I changed it. So now what are we gonna do? <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna go to layer again, open image as layer, and then this is when you're gonna get your um ugly little avatars like I have here. And then you're just gonna get them right here, and then you're gonna um, free. Oh shoot! <laughs> I'm gonna bring this above the layer, and then you're gonna um, free transform, make it smaller, 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 smaller. Okay. Click out of the box. Do you want to apply changes? Yes. Then you're gonna click this right here. This is called the wand tool right here. You're gonna click that, and then you click the background, and then you click the delete button on your keyboard, and it deletes it. Okay. Oh my goodness, my choker. I don't really care. So yeah, you're just gonna, <laughs> you're just gonna <laughs> delete all the background, basically. Oh my goodness, I can't believe my choker has literally, it's dead now. Rest in peace, choker. My choker back, you do that by, um you lower the tolerance for the wands. So it was, it's usually at like 20 or 21. And if like, if it goes into your outfit a little bit, like it did here with my, with my choker, you could just lower it down to around five and then do it again and it'll work perfectly as you guys can see. Okay, so you're gonna do free transform. And you're basically gonna transform it and like place it anywhere. I usually place them in the corner and then I write the text in the middle. You can flip it like this. Do I wanna flip this? I, I usually, this is, the, this is literally the dilemma that I have on every like double thumbnail that I make with UGR Rayla. Usually on my theme thumbnails, I'd be like, oh, would it look better over here or here? So I'm gonna think that it's Rayla would look better here and UGR over here. So yeah, you make the size that you want. Um, as big as you want, you could make it this big. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but like, <laughs> you do you. Like, I'm not here to judge or anything. Okay, so you wanna make, you can make them skinny or like, <laughs> so yeah, just pick any size basically. I think this is good enough. Yeah, I think this is good. So yeah, you're just gonna click off, apply changes, yes. And then yeah, get your avatar. Usually, uh, you um usually you only do one, but like Ujira and It's Raylan, I both use for avatar. So I'm just showing you guys. Basically, this is how I would make my um, thumbnails for my theme videos that I do weekly. Basically, this is how I would make those type of thumbnails. Or you know, if any other thumbnail, I would just do one avatar. So yeah, you're just gonna do this. It doesn't go okay. I don't need to lower the tolerance or anything. Oh, I need to up the tolerance. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so yeah, I like get in between the hairs sometimes. If it's not, if it's like not, if it's noticeable, then I would try to do it. If it doesn't work, then I don't really care about it. Like right here. Or maybe it's just because I'm recording so I can't get it now. See, like I got it there and yeah. <laughs> And there's one like right here if you guys see it, but whatever. Um, the shadows at the bottom, I don't really care about because um, when I do the free transform, when I edit the shape, it, they I don't usually show feet unless I do like the city animation, so yeah. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put it in size proportion to its Raylan. Actually, this is a nice size, so I might make its Raylan bigger. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do like Yuji right here. It's railing, click the layer, and then all you have to do is just basically the same thing. So you have to make sure you're on the layer to edit though. So make sure you have, you got that going on. Okay, so yeah, I think this is a nice size, nice proportion. So now you're gonna go over the layer again, and you're gonna do basically the same thing you did for um, this, this shape right here, the um, square, rectangle, or whatever you wanna call it. Um, right click, um, layer styles, you're gonna do outer layer this time instead of um, inner layer, and then white, and then you're gonna bring this all the way up, and you can change the size of it. I don't usually go like too big. Like at most it will be like this much. So yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do, yeah, about this much. And then I drop a shadow, and I usually move the shadow. You move the shadow with this angle thing here. I usually move it to the, other, uh, um, the opposite side of where the text is gonna be. You can move the distance and then opacity, you know, and then the size, which makes it more like blurry. That's the, that's the word, that's the word I was looking for, blurry. <laughs> what did I say? I said more of a shadow. <laughs> I sound so freaking stupid, like honestly. Basically, that's the thumbnail without the text. You could add text in pixel art, but I don't like doing that because sometimes the text cuts off and whatnot. So yeah, you can just save it and we're gonna go to a different website for text. We're just gonna name this thumb and <laughs> it like you put the quality at 100 because pick monkey, which is where we're gonna go. Usually it lowers the quality or whatever. So yeah, you're just gonna save that wherever. And now you're gonna go to pick monkey. Your pick monkey's photo editor, click that. You're gonna click edit at the top. And then you're just gonna get the thumbnail that you just saved from pixel R and then it'll bring it up just like that wow fantastic phenomenal legendary icon everything outstanding so you're gonna click text and then they provide text for you or you can use your own text that you download so you just click yours and then um these are all the text that i downloaded and i might make another another video if you don't know how to download fonts then i could make another video <laughs> maybe later in the future so you're just gonna click add text and then you're just gonna add, you just gonna, you just write basically. So how to make, I think, you have to go like basically different levels or steps. If you know how to make it uh, like an easier way, don't drag me because I don't, okay? So basically I just fade it, I make it black and fade it. And then I type it again to make a shadow. Like, then I'll do this text in white, and then, you know, size up, whatever. Then you just drag it, and yeah. Basically, I do that to make a shadow. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, so you just do that, and it, like, makes a shadow. Make the size appropriately to match. And you see how, like, it makes a shadow? So, yeah, that's basically what I do. Yeah, you just add the next layer. If sometimes you don't have two words, or sometimes it fits, like, all in one, and sometimes I overlap like the text, the fonts over my avatars. I try not to, but sometimes I kind of have to to make it big enough. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and you can change the color here. They don't have a color picker. So I try to match the color, the secondary color to how my, the outfit of my, the color of my outfit, the outfit of my color. I hate my life. All right, so. Okay, so that's basically it. When you do the text, then you can save it. Sometimes, see, like, if you have to sign up or whatever, you don't have to do that. You could just literally scam your way to the top, like always, <laughs> Lana Del Rey reference, and you just screenshot it. So yeah, screenshot, and then you upload it with your YouTube video. So yeah, that's how I make my thumbnails. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next week. It will be Ujira's Mailbox Mayhem Week. 
tomorrow there's no new video but i think maybe if i have time i'll upload packer a packer puncher episode but if not then <laughs> oh well <laughs> like don't hold me accountable so yeah thank you guys so much for watching subscribe yada 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 see you in my next video bye